I give to you guys my top five tips on how to successfully culture your own deaf ear. This will save you time, money, and headache. Number one, you want to have a good aeration in your tank. That comes in the form of air stone. I have my sandstone here, my plastic air stone with a weighted bottom keeps in place. You want to be able to control the flow. You don't want the deaf ear to be blasting everywhere. You want a good flow to allow the food particles to flow around your tank so the deaf ear can culture it. If they can eat it, they will breathe. Number two, you want to have a backup. This comes in the form of another tank or a little bottle jar like mine here. I have this little jar so in case my main colony of Daphnia crashes, I have somewhere to restart again. So I will get this, this little jar here and restart it in my main tank. Number three, you want some sort of collecting or harvesting equipment. This is a sorting sleeve. So I have it's th four of them here. Different stage will be able to feed different stage of your fish. From the smallest fry to the biggest fish. You're able to sort the deafening out and feed your fish. You also want a good size by shrimp app here to be able to catch them and then sort them out. Number four. You want to have some sort of bio media as in a form of bio rings or some sort of lava rock. Just like any of your other things, your Daphne culture has to go through the nitrogen cycle too and they have to get rid of those nitrates too. So by having bio rings, that will help decrease some of your nitrite and keep your tank in a good environment. Number five. So you are culturing deaf yet, but you're not going to be able to harvest enough green water to feed your deaf yet. There is no way. It's impossible because it takes a long, long time. So what do you do? You get yourself some algae paste. This is concentrated green water that your deaf ear will need to be able to feed. This will save you a lot of time and money and a lot of effort.